Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Nexus 5 launcher on your Android device. So let's get started. Okay, so you're not going to need root permissions to uh, or root access to install this launcher, but because the Google search does have a bug in it which will prevent it from working uh, unless you install a couple things, uh, then you will need root permission. So if you just want the launcher and you don't mind the force closures that will come with the Google uh, search, that's fine, no root. If you wanna fix this, you will need root. Uh, so everything is in the form of an APK and I will go ahead and leave the download links down below and I will sort of walk you through how to do that. Open up your favorite file manager or uh, however you wanna do this. You just download them to your device preferably and then you're gonna go to uh, Google Home to IPK and make sure you hit install on that. Of course, I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. Prebuilt GMS Core to IPK, you want to install that too. Now, this is the Google Play Services, um, and I have had problems installing that. It it never worked for me, but I got the Home Launcher working uh, anyway. So I believe it more so has to do with you just going into Apps uh, from the settings. Google Play Services, and just making sure that you have version 4.0.31 installed. If you do, then you should be fine. You can try to install it, but if you get an error, that should be okay. Um, I got an error and it was fine. Lastly, you're gonna to want to install velvet.apk, which is the new Google search application. Uh, once you've installed those three things, you hit home, you should be able to have the option to go to uh, this home. Now, as I mentioned, the Google uh, search will have a bug in it, which I'll go ahead and try to show right now. What's the weather like? So as you can see, the Google search will force close if you try to do a voice search. I'm not sure about just typing. Uh, that's not really a huge deal. I would like everything to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to fix that uh, if you have root permissions. There will be a fourth file down below to download, to uh, install, and or unzip basically, and fix that. Open up your favorite Root Explorer app. Uh, in this case, I'm using Root Explorer. You're gonna wanna go to uh, scroll down, and if you download it straight to your device, go to SD card or wherever that download area would be. Download, and you'll see libgoogle-recognizer-jnil.zip. Uh, you're gonna wanna long press and just extract all. Now give it a minute or two, mine's a little bit of older device, so I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, it has just finished. Now uh, I would recommend going to go to extracted. Now click on the folder, and this is the file that you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna want a uh, long press on, you're gonna wanna hit move. And uh, from the next little tab over, you're gonna wanna navigate to the system, and then go down to lib, and right in here, you're just gonna go ahead and paste uh, or push move here and go ahead and hit yes if it asks you to uh, change the permissions. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't have enough space, for example, you can see up here, I have 7.98 megabytes free in this directory. If you don't have enough space, don't delete anything in this directory. Hit the parent folder option, then go to app. And if you're running a custom ROM or something that installs other apps that you may not need, delete something from this area. Now be, be safe about what you delete, make sure you can delete it. For example, wallet, you should be able to delete, um, voice plus, uh, some app, some ROMs come with term.apk. Uh, there should be a couple things in here that you can delete. Don't delete anything important, but there should be a couple things you can delete to free up some space if you need to. Once you've pasted that into the uh, proper area, go ahead and hit home and it should have the uh, search functionality fixed. So we'll go ahead and try that. What's the weather like? So as you can see, it's, it appears to be working just fine. And yes, it has. Uh, so the force close is now fixed as long as you do that little work around there. Uh, everybody at XCA, thank you, uh, who has went ahead and put their time into that, that, uh, that little workaround solution. If you guys wanna see a walkthrough of the Android 4.4 KitKat launcher or Nexus 5 launcher, uh, be sure to leave a comment saying that. Let me know down below uh, if this worked for you. If you have any problems, let me know down below and I will try to answer them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe down there for more. So that's going to pretty much wrap it up. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.